Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a size chart to your product on your TikTok shop. Now, the dashboard of your TikTok shop might look a little bit different with the one that I have right now because I believe that every country has different TikTok shop manager or like TikTok shop platform, but the way on which you can add your size chart is going to be similar if not the same so don't worry you can still follow my tutorial so let's get to it now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the product section right here on your tiktok shop seller center you will find a navigation bar or a navigation menu on the left side of your screen you want to click on this product section and you will find a bunch of options like manage product product bundles product optimizer add new product etc so i'm going to show you how you can add size chart to available product first because it's not going to be too much of a different with the add new product one let's say that you've already added your product and you haven't added your size chart yet because you don't know how to do it all you have to do is go to the manage product here i'm just going to choose one so here i'm going to go to the edit section and here is how the product editor page looks like i got the image of my product i got the name and usually if you add like the name of the product here or like the category here it's going to link to the category below here so usually if you change this one this one will also follow this part and you can add the brand the quantity etc now the size chart will fall below the product description box right here you'll be able to use the size chart and it says here that you can upload a size chart to illustrate the product size it's recommended to display the size and measurement method of each according to the size standard of the target market so adding a size chart is definitely going to be super helpful and the product that i'm having right now is actually an accessory i don't think that there is a lot of accessory shop that add the size chart to their product usually they just put it on the description box right here they will add like maybe uh, the uh, centimeters of the bracelet or maybe the ring size etc but if you are going to be selling like apparel like clothes jumper etc adding a size chart is going to be very very helpful for your customer and you can use the template from TikTok. So once you click on use template, you can go ahead and click here and you can create a new one if you want to. Or you can also click upload image and you can create your own size chart. You can use perhaps Canva. So let's head to Canva real quick. All right. So here's my Canva and let's try to find for a size chart like so. And Canva is going to give you a lot of templates that you can use, like this one right here and this one. All you have to do is just choose one of the templates and add your own measurement for your own product, download it, and then you can upload it here. Now you can see that when we click on the use template section, we don't really find any options. And if this happens for you, or if this happens to you, it probably because of the category that we have here so i'm going to try and change this into clothing let's see i want to make it as a dress maybe a i don't know summer dress because it has the minimum character so i'm going to say summer dress woman and i'm going to change oh still too short I'm going to add maybe flower summer dress woman okay okay so that is quite enough and then i'm going to go to here and i'm going to choose women's wear and it's going to be women's dresses Let's say it's just some casual dresses, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's an apparel or it falls under the clothing part. Now you can see that the product attributes has changed. Now we got care instruction, we got season, embellishment, etc. The more you fill this in, the more information your customer will get, which is also going to be the better. And the product 
details or the product description is still the same but now let's see how the size chart looks like as you can see now when i click on it you can actually click create size chart and this is how it looks like so you can add the size chart name let's say i want to name it as dress size chart because you can see that this is a template that we're going to create and I want to be able to use this multiple time. So let's say that I have an item that has similar sizing or just like, you know, similar form. I can use this again and again for my next product. And I'm going to show you how to do it later on. So this is dress size for this one. And you have the option for the dress length, the bust, as well as the hips. And for the size conversion, you can choose whether you want it to be in the UK, in the US, UK, or Europe, or you can click all three of them. Or if this is just a one size dress, you can just turn this on. I'm not going to be showing that for now. Then you can add a note, maybe allow, for example, allow two to three centimeters for the measurement, etc. whatever notes you want to add. And then you're going to want to enter the size. For example, if it's maybe an XL size, you want to add the dress length here. And then like the bust, etc. I'm just going to do random number for now. All right, so let's say that I'm going to add an XL size and in the US it's going to be 14 for this dress. 16 for the UK and 44 for the Europe. If you don't really know how it works, you can do the cheat code like I do here. So this is what I find. Apparently the one that I enter is 2XL, but you got what I meant. And then you can add the dress length, the bust size, as well as the hips. And you can add more rows. So you can see that you can add more than just one. You can add up to 10 rows. And let's say that you want to delete one, you can just click on the trash can option and then you can go ahead and click on submit. So this is how the size chart will look like and the dress length as well as the bust size and the hip size is going to come in centimeters. And you can actually add the centimeters at the back of the number if you want to, but I think that they're going to understand just by seeing this. So you can re-edit it if you want. I'm just going to save it for now. So you can see now I got the dress size template added into my product. And I'm not going to change anything else for now. I'm just going to go ahead and click on update. And I'm just going to go ahead and submit it. Okay, now that we got the product size added. And now let's try to do it with a new product to add. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and click add a product and we're going to start everything from scratch. So this is basically the empty page for the product and you can scroll down and you can see that it, we don't really find anything here. Usually the size chart will appear below the product description box, but you can see that we're not seeing it here. And again, that is because we haven't added our category yet. So I am going to try to create a maybe cat woman's hoodie long sleeve something like that and then for the category I'm just going to put this one here and we wait until it's finished loading and as you can see when we scroll down we will find the size chart once again so when I click on use template now I have the dress size option which I can see, I can edit it if I want to, or I can just create the size chart like how I showed you earlier, or you can just upload your image if it makes things easier for you. And then once you're done with everything, you can go ahead and submit a review. And that basically it, that is how you can create or add a size chart to your product, whether it's for an existing product, or if you just create the product from scratch, the key is by making sure that you have your product name as well as your categories right. Usually the templates for the product will only show if you choose 
the apparel all the closings one so if you don't find it yet you can try to change the category or maybe refresh the page and then it will shows below the product description part so thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial is helpful for you have a great day